All right, we're joined uh, today with uh, our special coach's corner by uh, head volleyball coach Ross Kessler. Coach, thanks for joining us. Um, thanks for having me, Thomas. Uh, no problem. Uh, first of all, how are you adjusting to what everybody calls the new normal uh, with being kind of locked down and not being able to go anywhere? As well as it can be, I suppose. You know, I think this thing's hard on everybody, but we all just have to kind of keep a positive attitude and do the best we can. So trying to get a routine in, um, stay healthy, work out every day, do something around the house. I think my dog is the real winner of this thing because she's having dad's home all the time. So I get to spend a lot of time with, with her, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I think we're all just in a holding pattern kind of waiting until this is over. Yeah. Um, so, are you able to stay in touch with your student athletes, um, players? Oh yeah, e every week. Um, MJ and I are are in touch with them every week, and uh, just kind of checking on their progress, checking on their status. And I think they're all kind of in the same boat of what I just said. You know, they're getting along. They've got a routine. They're still still doing really well in classes, uh, carrying on. But at the same time, I think we're all bored. <laughs> we all want to get back to volleyball. Um, we all want to get out of the house again, um, but we're hanging in there just fine. Okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit about your season last fall. Um, how do you think it went? Um, you know, you know, it probably wasn't as good as you wanted, but, um, and of course, with me coming in in February, I don't know that much, but um, just tell a little bit about fall and also had y'all started your spring season yet? Oh, sure. So with the fall, I mean, obviously, yeah, you always want to see more W's on the board for sure. But when I took this job and when we came into it, we knew that the rebuild of this program was going to be a long process. We knew it was going to take several years to get it going, and we knew what our priorities were from the beginning. And our priority was about setting the standards of our culture, setting team traditions that we could be proud of, uh, setting a standard of play. Um, setting a standard of kind of attitude of how we approach every day and getting that done and bringing in the right players, bringing in kids that embrace those values from the first day they walked in as a freshman. Those are the things that we were able to complete this season. Um, and so we're excited for the future because our culture is in the right place. Our work ethic, our attitude is in the right place. Um, and the talent level is only going up. Our kids are getting better and better. They're learning more. They're taking more control of kind of their own destiny. They're taking control of their level of play and their responsibility. So we're really excited for the future. Um, I think you're going to see a lot more W's on the board next fall, for sure. Um, spring, uh, spring was such a heartbreaker. Um, we did, we did get into season um, for one week um, before COVID-19 kind of knocked us out of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know, and it, it was really hard because we had just started to make some really good progress. Uh, we actually had a, like a team bonding event. We had a big cookout uh, the night before <laughs> we got shut down and we talked about kind of our spring and what we wanted out of it. And the kids were really excited and kind of making their own plans and building things up. Uh, and then that got taken away from us. So what we're trying to do in this off time is keep that at the forefront of everyone's mind. Um, we're trying to keep those goals, keep those values, you know, in, in front of them so that when we come back in the fall, we're going to be ready to go. And I think with most of our kids, having the sport they love, the sport they've been playing since they were little kids, I think they're realizing now just how important that is to them because it got taken away. And it's sad that, it, that you know, it's the result. You know, it got taken away from them. And it's sad that that's, that's when you realize how important things are to you. Um, but it makes me really excited for the fall. I know they're excited for the fall. They're going to be chomping at the bit to come in, get better, and again, put more Ws on that board. <laughs> right, of course. And uh, you touched on a little bit about changing the culture, bringing in the right players, um, adding the Ws to the board, um, as you said. So I know the whole COVID-19 lockdowns kind of – been a unique situation, uh, especially with NCAA putting down the dead period. Uh, how's recruiting been going in this difficult time, strange time? Um, a lot better than we expected. 
actually. Um, it is hard, you know, it, it, but I think in my own perspective, student athletes, it's harder on the kids than it is on us, just because, again, they're in the same situation that our kids are. They've had something that they really love taken away from them, um, and so I know it's a scary time for student athletes out there, uh, especially those that are in that process of trying to make their college decision, but they just need to know that we're still here for them. We're still interested. You know, the, the world, well, I guess the world kind of has stopped, um, but it hasn't at the same time. The recruiting process hasn't stopped. So I'm on Zoom meetings all day today uh, with prospective student athletes. We're still talking to kids. We're still talking to their families. We're telling them about who we are. We're trying to show them who we are a little bit. So they're going to meet with our staff today, um, some of them and their families, and we're looking forward to seeing them with as in-person as we can. Um, it'd be great to get them on campus. It'd be great to still be going out and recruiting at tournaments and doing those things, but this is just an obstacle in the way, and you got to do the best you can. So we're still cranking. We're still doing well. We're excited about the way um, – our 2020 class is finished up. We're excited about the way our 2021 class is developing, and, and we're hoping that we can add some new wolves to the family here in the next few weeks. Okay, that's great. Uh, so you talked a little bit about your staff. Uh, right before all this went down, you hired a new assistant. Um, how about telling everybody a little bit about uh, her and her credentials and everything? So her name is Maureen, Maureen Johnson. Uh, we affectionately call her MJ, and she is fabulous. Um, you know, I ran the ship for a couple months by myself, and so it was a massive relief just to have someone in there, but I couldn't have asked for better than MJ. Um, she came in and absolutely dominated her interview, just knocked it out of the park. Um, kids loved her. I loved her. Uh, knew she was going to be a good fit from the start. And then in the very short time, you know, that, that she was on campus with us and working, she really proved her value. Um, you know, she is doing an excellent job on the recruiting side. She's organized. She's already made a fast relationship with our girls um, and earned their respect really early. Um, it's just unfortunate that we can't really, we can interact again, you know, virtually and all that. But we really wanted the spring to be an opportunity for her to kind of grow and develop with our kids in the gym and to get to know our committed recruits and, so now we're just going to do that virtually. Um, but I'm excited to see what she can do on the floor. I'm excited to see what she can do in our gym for us in the fall. But it's the start of a really great relationship. And MJ is going to be awesome for your very volleyball. Oh, that's great. Um, okay, just to wrap things up, a couple of fun questions. Um, okay. what's, what's the first thing you plan on doing once the quarantine's lifted and you can go out and do whatever you want? Oh, man. I'm probably going to give a sappy answer here. Um, I'm probably going to go hug my dad. That's what I'm going to go do. You know, being a, being a coach living far away from family, you don't get to see family enough already. And now I'm like literally legally not allowed to see him, yeah. you know, for fear of killing him at this point. Um, so I'm going to go hug my dad and I'm going to go see my family. I'm lucky enough that dad lives in Florida right by the beach. So I'm going to be on the beach too. And I'm going to have a good time. <laughs> That's a great answer. Uh, and during the quarantine, have you found any good movies, TV shows that you've been streaming that you really like? I think if we, I think if anybody didn't find anything to watch, we'd all be <laughs> bored to death by now. Um, but oh yeah, sure. I'm watching Ozark right now. Highly recommend. Very, very good. And if you haven't checked out Tiger King yet, you got to check it out it is the wildest ride i've been on in years couldn't look away from it it was uh interesting to say the least it was wild yeah, so yeah that's that's great. that's one that i got into and it is definitely interesting it's wild <laughs> what a train wreck but so fun so yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right well awesome well thank you again for joining us and stay safe and we look forward to being able to see you face to face again soon Sounds good, Thomas. Thanks for having me. Y'all. Thank you. Right. You too.